So while I was away for work, good old Amazon Claus dropped off a whole bunch of stuff. So I got these, these five wise, thin clients that I'm going to uh, be messing with and installing Linux CNC onto. I've got a use for at least one or two of them. I definitely have a use for one of them. I have a use for at least two of them. The other three, I don't know. I might, I might load those up and see what I can see what I can get for them. Also, I got me a Mesa 7996S prototype board. This is a pre-production board. The differences between this and the standard 7996 are that this has a different FPGA. It doesn't have a Spartan 6. It has a... I forget what it... I, I looked at it before. I don't remember what it's called. But it also has an analog spindle control. So I'm going to use that to drive the potentiometer pot... Or the potentiometer port, rather. <laughs> potentiometer port on the DC drive that I have. Uh, pay no attention to the shoddy soldering job on this thing. Don't worry about that. That's a... Uh, that's the inline capacitors for the ProLite machine. I made a little schnazzy board out of it, but the soldering job's awful. Then I got these from Fleabay. These look nice. These are four-pin waterproof connectors. They're plastic, but the uh, the ends are actually, they're actually machined. You can't, it's hard to tell in the camera view, but these things are actually machined. You can tell at the bottom there's a drill point. They're turned, they're drilled, and then the notches are actually milled out on them. These are actually they're pretty good quality for what I paid for them. And I'll come downstairs and show you the other stuff I got. And like I said, it's like Christmas time. I got a little itty bitty five volt power supply. It takes the place of this wompy brick here. You can see the difference between the the two amp and the, the ten amp. A little bit of a difference. Got the 7996S. Looking me dead in the face here, so I can tell you what the chip is. It is a Trion, it looks like. FPGA. And then old Amazon Claus box here. This all came in multiple deliveries. I just put it in this so I could bring it downstairs. Got some more inline fuse holders. I'm going to be using those. More of those things. The other ones I'm going to bring to the school for the ProLite. Got another WEG contactor with the flyback diode. <laughs> Got noise filter and more of the capacitors. Because Gecko recommends using the same size capacitor, the 1,000 gigata gigata ferret there, for their drives. If your leads, if your uh, motor leads are more than 18 inches or something like that, which mine will be, so I figure I'll put one of those on each side. I'll put, I'll make a little one of the little boards for each of the capacitors to have it in line. And then I got some buttons. I got some of these guys here. I could not pass these up. I got a three set of these buttons for six bucks on Amazon. I don't know how good they are. I mean, they have a good chunky chunky to them. They got a good feel. Nice and nice stiff spring action. Contacts look pretty good. They got that nice cheese ball Chinese font on them. For six bucks, they're worth every penny. They don't really look too much different than the Yigio ones that I have, so I'm up op I'm optimistic that these are gonna hold up. At least for a little while. So I'm gonna have a cycle start button, feed hold button, and single block. Just like I got on this guy. Like I said, contact wise, I mean they're they're damn near identical. The difference is that these have the slide lock. For the button, the button seems a little bit more secure in the housing here, as opposed to these, where they're kind of—you can see—they kind of wiggle around a little bit, because they have a 
a friction lock. You just squeeze this thing and the head just pops off like so. So, I mean, we'll see. These were, like I said, pack of three was six bucks versus the other ones. I think those were a pack of, or the three of those, I think, was three times the price. $18, $20, something like that. So, I mean, just to try them out, I couldn't pass it up. Good chunk, chunk. So, I mean, it's moving along. I'm waiting on the delivery for the DC, the DC boards. Um, but everything else is pretty much here. Oh, I've got, uh, I've got new timing belts and timing pulleys on the way. And those should be here sometime next week. But other than that, I've got enough to get me started and keep me busy for a little while. I got to figure out the layout and I got to bring one of those thin clients down and see how I'm going to mount it, where I'm going to mount it. Can't put it inside of here. Although if I, if I get it running and I kind of pilfer the board out of the, out of the casing it's in, I might be able to find a home for it inside of here, but I don't know. I'll jump off that bridge when I get there. So that's, uh, that's pretty much the update I wanted to give you guys on this. It's, it's moving along. Not, uh, a... <laughs> It's not a, uh, there's, there's no, there's no boring moments here. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.